Oh yeah, plenty of punch. Man, this Moto Guzzi Stelvio is awesome. So comfortable. Here it is, the 2024 Moto Guzzi Stelvio, the one that's shaking up the ADV market. Stay with me, you don't want to miss this. We'll get this thing going. The first thing you'll notice is that beautiful TFT display. I've got my 360 camera in the way a little bit. Let's get this thing started up. Man, I'm excited to ride this. This is the first year for this bike. I'm going to go over a lot of the details about it. Huge thank you to Plano Kawasaki, man, that lets me ride all this stuff. Give them a shout. Uh, they've got all this stuff in stock. They're the uh, industry leader down here in the south as far as volume, dealer volume, for Aprilia, Kawasaki, Suzuki, Moto Guzzi. They're the biggest dealer around. They've got all this stuff in stock. Okay, enough plugging. Man, the first thing I can tell you about this, make sure this is in the viewfinder, is man, it is comfortable. Oh, I love that front brake feel. Just starting out. It does have five modes, and they're all of them are rider adjustable. So you can uh, you can change any aspect of it. The uh, lean sensitive uh, brake control, ABS, everything. All five modes are adjustable. Got your headlight there. <laughs> of course, we see that. The headlight on it is automatic. Man, this thing is like, it just feels like it's perfectly balanced. Wow. It has a 1,042, I think it's a 1,042 or 1,052 cc's. It does have a quick shifter. So up and down, it's clutchless shifting. Man. This does have a 19 inch front wheel. It's a 120, 70 by 19. And I can tell you it's got a sporty feel. It's a very controlled feel. This is a 550 pound bike, basically. Let's adjust those mirrors a little bit. Man, that was super simple. Wow, I love these mirrors. This has got Brembo brakes on it, uh, on the front, Brembo monoblock brakes, four piston calipers. The, uh, the rotors on it are 320 millimeter. This thing's got about 120 horsepower, but it, it makes it all pretty much by 8,000 RPM. And I'm in fourth gear. We'll just do a, just kind of lug it a little bit plenty of power in six gear at 45 mile an hour you can tell it is lugging it but man this has led lights on it let me tell you some of the interesting stuff it's got cruise control on it uh this thing has lane departure warning on it you can add lane departure warning uh, it's got follow cruise on it where you can set it like in your car and it'll stay a, a set up distance. I am a 30 inch inseam and I'm tiptoeing on it. It's got a 32 inch seat height. Uh, this is a transverse V-twin water cooled. And I will tell you, I, I do a bunch of study on these and study up on them. And this bike here has really blown the, all the testers away. And they said, this is a bike. Moto Guzzi used to be a bike that a Moto Guzzi owner, it would be about the only person that would want another one. It was a real loyal crowd. This thing's got plenty of power. Super ride, man. Very comfortable very comfortable all your controls on here your cruise control right there let's see if we can set that cruise there we go there we go cruise is set you pull that over to the left you'll see the green cruise light up cruise is set 
you hit your clutch or a brake, it'll take that cruise off. Man, this is, I tell you what, I rode the V100 Mandelo and was so surprised with that bike. It does tell us that the cruise is on if we want to reset it. Let's reset it again. There we go. Reset. This does have a uh, Brembo master cylinder on it as well. It does have a master cylinder for the clutch and a Brembo uh, clutch cylinder. So the clutch pull is very, very nice. All these levers are totally, uh, you can spin the knobs on them and bring the levers out or in, whatever works for you. To bring it closer to your hand, I'd probably bring this left one closer. This right one's about perfect for the brake. Let me tell you some particulars about this bike that makes it so cool. So you've got the follow cruise, and I'll show you a graphic. I'm not real good at explaining stuff like this, but it will show a car coming up beside you. It is a thousand dollar package. And I tell you what, if I bought one of these, I'm gonna get off of this up here in the parking lot. I would just go ahead and spend the thousand dollars just to have the goodies. Now it does come with follow. When you're following somebody and they stop, they slow down in front of you. Let's see if we can get it to work here. We'll speed up. Man, this thing is so smooth. It should flash up a red icon, if I'm not mistaken, unless I don't have it engaged. Let's see here. Let's see. We're going to follow. Well, this guy's kind of squirrely. I don't know what he's... Looks like he just bought a new Jeep and <laughs> he's checking it out. But... Uh, I'm going to get off of it up here and, and show you some uh, some really neat stuff with it. It does have a USB uh, plug-in on it. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Man, that sounds good. It does have a fuel gauge. It's got your temperature gauge. Your mode button is right here. And you can actually go off-road off, off with this. It turns off the rear ABS. Sport mode. All these modes are adjustable. There are five modes. Turismo. I don't know why I like that. Somebody leave a comment if they know what, uh, why I might like that. But anyways, man. Uh, Moto Guzzi CT. It's got your fuel gauge. Man, that, uh, that TFT is super clear. This thing has got the torque. 115, 117 horsepower, 71 foot-pounds of, of torque to it. So it's going to make it all pretty much by eight grand. And I believe this red line's at 9,000. Somebody can leave a comment. Kill that blinker. It's got plenty of torque. But uh, I'm going to show you a graphic of what all this thing does. It shows it will show a car with that package on it. Show a car coming up behind you. If somebody's running directly behind you, it'll and coming too close, it'll sound an alarm on the screen. These are tubeless tires. This is a uh, 120 70 19 in the front. It does have a spoke tire on it, and it's a 170 60 in the back. It does kind of have a on off-road pattern and when I get off the bike I'll show it to you. I would probably I, I can't I wouldn't see myself I wouldn't see myself taking this off-road so I'd probably try and put me a little bit a little bit better street tire on it and there's no telling what you could do with this. It does have 46 millimeter sacks. <laughs> Boy he likes it. It does have 46 millimeter sacks front forks on it that are uh, adjustable pre pre preloading uh, compression you can see those the adjusters I don't know if you can see the screw there and the back is a KYB shock I believe man that neutral is super simple to get into let's park up here and I'll jump off of it and show it to you 
and like I say I'm a 30 inch inseam and it's kind of a little tall for me but uh, let's get off this thing real quick let's take a look at this all LED lighting look at that backlight that is cool that is cool but look at this thing man single sided swing arm you could get your wheel lift and slide through that back hole there make sure we're getting this in the uh, viewfinder the tires are tubeless that's a 170 60 17 120 70 19 up front look at those spoke wheels how good they look man they look good I just love that spoke being brought to the outside there the Brembo brakes it is a twin cylinder, a transverse uh, twin cylinder. It's 12 and a half to one compression ratio. I'm gonna show you what's really cool about this. Also to the headlight, let's make sure we're getting all this in there. It does have cornering LED, so when you start cornering, that would light up right there. Let's turn this on high beam. There we go. Look at that, man. That is a good looking bike right there. 2024 Stelvio at 16390. Another thing, the screen does go up and down. Let's get that up and down and show you how that works. Let's see here. We'll go over. Use the over. We'll use that over button which we used. That shows your screen. Watch this. <laughs> that's nice you don't have to buy an additional screen your USB outlets right there you could charge your phone or whatever uh, man look at this it is shaft shaft drive and the uh, driveline lash is almost gone that's what a lot of the testers said said that Moto Guzzi has really outdone themselves on this one this is the kind of bike that the testers said once somebody rides it, if they've never owned a Guzzi, they're probably going to buy this. It's that kind of bike. It's a game changer. And I see after riding it how it could be. But look at it. Look at this pipe. That's totally cool. You can hear that. This bike sounds good. But hey, stay with me. We're going to give it a little quick, quick jaunt on the uh, service road. But hey, if you like this kind of content, Make sure you like this video. Make sure you're subscribed. You give Plano Kawasaki a call at 972-422-4111. Talk to anybody up there. If you don't get the answer you want, talk to AJ or Mike Cannon. I appreciate y'all riding with me. And we'll see you on the next one. Give this thing a little jump out on the service road. Oh yeah, plenty of punch. Man, this Moto Guzzi Stelvio is awesome. So comfortable. Wow.